is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery LR32, and man, I'm in such a fantastic mood because we finally have a new ban list. We finally have some video ideas. We can be talking about the meta, some top decks. You know, we already got a Mystic Mind Burn deck ready to talk about that card. Still needs to be fucking banned, though. I'm going to be trolling just to troll. So smash the ever living boo boo stain out of that subscribe button so that we can get to our goal of 1,000 subscribers if you're new to the channel be sure that you smash that like button for our booty booty butt cheek category and please i know i say it in every tier list video but i always get trolls on these videos just disliking it for the sake of disliking it i know i'm a blunt son of a bitch and i say that your favorite deck is booty booty butt cheeks but would you rather me be blatant bluntly honest with you or would you rather me say yes your scare claw deck is tier zero no, you fucking don't. You want me to be straight honest with you, boy, because that's what you get guaranteed on this channel. So let's just go ahead and dive on into it. Starting off, Alter Guys is booty booty butt cheek. Uh, if you play an Alter Guys in this new format, what you doing, man? No, it, it's it's in the booty booty butt cheek category. No, unless you're going to be using Millie Seeking like a crooked cook Exodia shit, then okay, we'll put it in like the... No, nah, actually, no, nah, that still goes in booty booty butt cheek because you lose to Runic. Uh, so these are going to be in no particular order, but we are going to get the big time, uh, what do you call it, the hot takes on out of the way. This is tier fucking zero. This is tier 1.5. So don't hate on the video. Don't be leaving. Just, just relax. Try to relax your anus. Hear me out. This is what's going on. This tier list is encompassing what the next few months of Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be, right? So we're talking Magnificent Mavens when we get all of that milling support with the Ashizu Ishtar cards, Exchange of the Spirit support. You know what I'm talking about. Then we've also got Darkwing Blast that is going to have the Bystead monsters, which are fucking insane, guys. Like, you need to go read those cards. Like, go read them like five times each because a lot of those cards, especially the the level 12 all-seeing eye, looks like a boss monster out of Final Fantasy shit. That card's disgusting. The Bahamut is disgusting. Like, there's a lot of good cards in those Bystead cards. I feel like as the time goes on in this format, and by the time that we get to the cusp of another, quote-unquote, new ban list, that we are going to be in a somewhat, if not definitely, a tier zero format. I made a video a while back talking about how I felt like we were really overdue for a tier zero format. And I think that tier elements is going to be that deck that just gets pushed over the top. They lost fairy tale snow. Who gives a shit? It was just a win more card. Quite honestly, that was a, just an infinite book of moon. As long as you had the cards advantage, which spoiler alert, you always do a tier element. You know, there's going to be so many different ways to build the deck by the time that we have Darkwing Blast and Magnificent Mavens because they can either play the Exchange of the Spirit Trap along with Gravekeeper's Trap to just call out every card that you draw and make you ditch and basically not have a draw phase, or they can just go the straight mill route, or they can just play some of the other monsters that mill just to have more cards that mill. Yes, it's RNG, but when 99% of your deck has the RNG in your favor, you can't tell me that that's not good. Tier Element is going to be the deck to beat moving forward, full stop. Go pick up your, your Necro Valleys and make sure you got the right uh, wording on it because it's been eroded like 3,000 damn times. And just be ready to beat this deck moving forward. Sprite, on the other hand, I am making the bold prediction that it is going to be Tier 1.5. Why do I say this? Yes, they lost Rodan Toten and Tier Element lost Fairy Tail Snow. So you could say, oh, you know, both top decks lost one card. But you know damn well that Rodan Toten was much of a bigger deal than Fairy Tail Snow was in Tier Element. Banning Rodan Toten makes it so that Sprite cannot play a Frog Engine at all. In order to still play the Frog Engine, you have to basically be forced to open up with like a way to special summon Swap Frog and then summon out another level 2 Aqua. Now, is there a lot of other level 2s that you can play? Yes, absolutely. And that's what's really fun about Sprite is that there's so many different engines that are level 2 that you can play. Like, shit, I was playing against a Sprite deck like last week where the dude was playing Dragon Ravine with fucking Totem Dragon because Totem Dragon's a level 2 and it can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Dragon type. So homie just drops out a Light and Darkness Dragon. I proceeded to Dark Ruler no more his ass, but it's the fact that you can do that. Like, that's just insane to me. Now, yes, you can play the Evil Twin package because as far as I I know the evil twin package really didn't get hit at all in sprite like you could pretty much just swap to an evil twin engine and you're good to go um you, or you could also do what the ocg pretty much does now and what they've been doing for a while now is just playing a sprite artifact scythe turbo deck where you just turbo out artifact scythe as many times as you can to beat the opponent i'm not saying that that's good or bad that's just another way that you can play the deck moving forward into this format 
But to say that Tier Element and Sprite are on an equal playing field, no. Absolutely not, Chief. Uh, I'm not even saying that Sprite is Tier 1 because I feel like it's just really going to fall out of favor as it somewhat has been up to this point and that people are just going to be going towards Tier Element. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump around a little bit. I'm considering Borload, Savage Dragon, Dragon Link, um, I guess. I don't know who the hell made this uh, tier list, but I am going to say that Dragon Link is Tier 2 because if you think about it, Dragon Link didn't get touched at all other than actually, no. I, I'm a fucking idiot. I just answered my own question. Chaotic Magical Dragon gets banned. Uh, Dragon Link is rogue. I really don't know what this deck's going to do without Chaotic Magical Dragon. I'm not an expert. But to be on the safe side, I'm just going to say that it's rogue. Because to me, I feel like Chaotic Magical Dragon is just too much of a loss. And keep in mind, too, that the deck doesn't have Halky Fibrax. So is Dragon Link dead? Maybe not. Maybe it will adapt for like the 100th time. But for now, I'm going to say that it is rogue. Ah, branded Despia. So this is like encompassing every branded Despia version like ever. Um, Sprite definitely leads the charge in tier 1.5. I'm going to say that branded Despia is still tier 1.5. Uh, it's definitely not tier two. It's still a very good deck. It's it's super poly, the deck. Like, you have so many different ways to fuse. It's still very good. You can play a tier element package in it. Who's to say that it won't be even better when we get the Magnificent Maven support and the Bystead support in Darkwing Blast? Because brand pure branded decks can play the Bystead cards. A lot of decks, honestly, can play the Bystead cards. So, I think it is still going to be a tier 1.5 deck. I think it's going to be very solid. Uh, moving on along here, let's talk about Math Mech. So, honestly, I'm going to say that Math Mech is Tier 1. Now, you're probably wondering, Avery, how do you put this above Sprite? The thing is, is that unlike Sprite's end board, majority of the time, <clears throat> excuse me, majority of the time, Math Mech has such a transformable, malleable board just based on how they end things. You know, if they end on like, let's just say, for example, Deco Talker Heat Soul with Sidenet Conflict and Super Factorial, okay, cool. They have an Infernity Barrier. They've drawn a card on their turn. They're going to draw one on your turn. They may have Hand Traps in their hand. Oh, and they've got a Super Factorial to go into whatever the fuck they need to break your board or to make an even scarier one, whether that's Final Sigma, Laplacian, uh, the fuck is the other one whatever the other one is that can like rip a card out of your hand like trishula i can't think of the name off the top of my head i'm exhausted <laughs> but yes i think it leads the charge at tier one that's my bold prediction and if if sprite and branded are in tier 1.5 does that mean they can't keep up with math Mike? fuck no because if math Mech bricks they can very easily lose to these decks but i'm willing to say that math Mech is at tier one so dogmatica they have nadir servant at three i think the dogmatica engine as a whole still belongs in rogue because it's it's one of those things that like it's just sort of there the same goes for uh salamangre just in general this deck needs to go die in a fire i could be playing tier i'm still gonna be losing a salamangre every time i don't know why but i i just i'm sure that i will i fucking hate sky strike with a burning passion this is why mystic mind needs to be banned if you love playing mystic mind you love trolling people as long as you're not like that guy that cheated me at the book of return regional who said oh there's 30 seconds left in time okay well the judges just called time no they fucking didn't you're just a cheater and a troll <laughs> um i mean it's it's mystic mind the deck like it's it's a good rogue deck same for salad you know they're they're solid rogue picks you can catch people off guard especially if you have good technical play you're going to get rewarded for these Drytron, oh, ho, 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 ho. Drytron's coming for that ass. They're back at full fucking power, ladies and gentlemen. They've got Ben 10 at three, and he's ready to beat your ass with an Omnitrix. That's the wrong Ben 10, but you know what I mean. Uh, if you can learn the ins and outs to fucking Drytron, like, you're going to get rewarded for it, pimp. This this deck's good. It's tier 1.5. It, it really, really is. Uh, I'm almost tempted to move it into tier 1, but... Yeah, actually, fuck it. I gotta move it to tier one. It's gonna be fucking bonkers with that being at tier one. Uh, or with Ben 10 being at three, excuse me. Uh, Evil Twins, I'm also gonna put here at tier 1.5. They're just gonna be tied hand in hand with, with Sprite. Virtual World, they're definitely not tier two. It's it's really fallen off. I gotta put them in the booty booty butt cheek category. Marin Cess is cool. It's a rogue deck. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to put Mystic Mind up here. Yeah, it's Mystic Mind the format still. <laughs> uh, Dinos, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, please please leave. So, Therion ABC the deck. Uh, it's gonna be no. It's not gonna be fucking good. <laughs> get please please get out. They're they're booty booty butt cheeks. Tri Brigade booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, it's had a couple tops here and there, but. 
I feel like the more that we move on in the format, because keep in mind, I'm taking into account, at least at face value, like what else we're getting, whether it's the Bystead stuff or the Magnificent Maven Mill stuff. I, I, I'm believing in my mind that this is what you can see moving forward in the format, right? And I just don't think that ABC Therions are even going to get there. Even that fucking Vernalizer Earth Machine deck I played round one at that Boca Raton Regional. It's like, come on, bro. That's that's booty booty butt cheek. Like, no. Like, it's, no. Stop it. Um, Phantom Knights. Rest in peace, honestly. Like, the Brave Engine's still at full power. And this deck just loses to itself. Like, if it pops off, like, it's, it's tier 1.5 for sure. But, like... If you can't do that consistently, then what are you doing? Like, there. why would I play this? Why would I play this deck when even if you don't want to play Tier Element, you have better options like, what, one, two, three? You have four better options. No, even Rogue, you have better options here. Like, real talk. Scareclaw, what are you doing? No. Um, so, Punk lost Chaotic Magical Dragon and Halky Fibrax. However, the engine itself, I would argue, is still really good. I'm going to say that this is a rogue deck. Um, the stuff that it can do is, I still feel, is very good. You still have three emergency teleport, you guys. Like, uh, hello? Like, you can't tell me that's not good. Like, that's that's really good. Um, let's see here. Exosister. So, I got to put it in tier one, man. Like, this deck is coming off of a YCS win. It didn't get touched at fucking all. D Shifter's still at three. I'm sure someone will fucking put in three Mystic Mine in this deck. Like, I, why not? Cards broken AF. So, and and on top of that too, keep in mind, I'm actually thinking about this as I'm speaking. Exo Sister has an amazing matchup against Tier. When Tier gets that new milling support, it just makes the Exo Sister deck better as a whole. The more people in the room that are playing Tier, the more people will probably want to play Exo Sister because it's just a perfect. The whole deck is a hard out to Tier elements, and they're probably the one deck in the room minus maybe Sprite. I almost want to put Sprite in Tier One still, but. I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth on, on in my mind on that. Uh, I would argue that Exo Sister may be the one deck that keeps Tier Element from becoming Tier 0 here in the TCG. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Sword Soul. Oh, man. How the mighty have fallen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice here. Um, it's got to go in Tier 2. Like, it, it, it's... Why would I play Sword Soul over Branded or over Exo Sister or over fucking anything? Like... Maybe if you want a budget deck, okay, but then the deck plays Baroness Stuff Lord, that's over $100. Like, that's not fucking budget. Um, Sun Avalon's Dry Ass. My, my dry ass is rogue, I'll have you know. Heroes, they are rogue AF. Congrats on having three Fusion Destiny. You mostly make DPE off of polymerization, though, so I, I, I don't know what you're trying to do. Maybe you'll make a uh, different Destiny Hero Fusion. Destiny and Dragoon coming in hot, hello. Um... <laughs> I'm going to put Adding Nister here, but yet you could also put, like, the Adding Nister Math Mech build. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you're just playing straight Adding Nister, I would say that they're Tier 2. You get out your 6,000 beat stick, you still lose to Mystic Mine if you don't have an out to it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Don't try to cheat people and say, oh, he's unaffected by card effects. Yeah, my Crooked Cook's unaffected too, but yeah, I still can't attack. Uh, we're, we're saving Runics for last. <laughs> Flunder is... I'm sorry. It's Rogue. Like, it's... You lose the hand traps. Like, if you don't have that extra gas to just keep on moving forward, it, it just it falls behind in Rogue. It's probably... Nah, man, it leads the charge in Rogue, but if you hand trap it to fucking hell and back, it's going to lose. I will say it got better because of the fact that Red Reboot isn't a thing anymore. And honestly, pff, now that I fucking think about it, uh, Salamangrate gets better because there's no Red Reboot. Eldolich gets a fuck ton better now that there's no red reboot. I'm going to put him in tier two though, because I really don't feel like Eldritch is going to be that big of a thing to where it's tier one or 1.5. I just don't think it's going to get there. It might move up to like tier 1.5 once we get the milling support, because then like, you know, Aigido just makes the opponent mill five. And it's like, okay, cool. I just milled five Eldritch traps. Like that seems pretty good, especially if you get like a golden Lord engrave. Um, but yeah, finally the peace day resistance runic. Where are we gonna put Runic? Do 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 it's fucking rogue. Like it's it's rogue, it's cool. Like if you're the one dude in the room that's whipping out his diddly and proceeding to play with himself and you're playing against me with Runic, you gonna make me salty AF, but like I'm gonna understand why. Because 
like it can be thrown into so many different decks. I would argue it's actually a 1.5 because you can play Sprite with Runic and like it's actually pretty good. But I'm going to say that it's Rogue just because like pure Runic is Rogue, but yet a lot of the stuff in Rogue can be sub-engines to other things. You know, like you could be playing Punk in like Tier Element. Same thing with Sprite in Tier Element. Like you can mix and match a lot of these things. Um, I'm not really noticing anything else on here that we would need to throw in. Like, obviously, Kashatri isn't out yet, and I don't want to include things that, like, specific decks that aren't out yet, i.e. Kashatri. I want to take the current format that we have and just apply, like, other cards that are coming out moving forward to said decks. So with that being said, I think that at the end of the day, like, once we have the Bystead stuff... I, I think that this will be our format. I know that you can mix tier elements with Kashatris and stuff, and that's a whole other animal in and of itself. That's like another sub-engine like we were just talking about. But I think Kashatri themselves will be a tier one deck. And you know what? Honestly, I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. It, it's It's got to go here. It, the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, no. Like, it, it just... I'm looking at the fucking screen and it just looks wrong. I think Sprite will be a tier one deck. Will it be able to keep up a tier element? I don't believe so. I really don't believe so. If if you want to play Sprite in this new format, you have to keep in mind that you are already at a particular disadvantage because tier element just has more good cards than you do. And it sucks to say that, but the loss of Ronin Toten hurts that fucking bad. You cannot tell me losing an Omni Negate like Totally Awesome does not hurt because it does you have a lot of other level two engines though that you can use whether it's ipira evil twins i mentioned the totem dragon with light and darkness dragon it's going to take a lot of experimenting and a lot of solving the formula to perfection to see what it is that will be beating tier element but at the end of the day the mystic mind the card itself and tier element the deck is going to be your decks to beat ladies and gentlemen this is our tier list for september 2022 please let me know what you think down in the comments below is there something that i missed is there a deck that i'm just not thinking of at the moment i'm really tired i've been out and about all day today thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video and thank you so much for all of your continued support